Our top story tonight, we continue to track the progress of Hurricane Flozell. The National Weather Service has issued a severe hurricane advisory and is urging everyone to stay indoors for at least the next 36 hours. Are you going to be cool? Oh, yeah, I'm totally cool about that. I, I have a lot of friends who do it, and they're willing to do it around me all the time because they know I'm so cool about it, and I don't judge them. So, you know, go ahead. Well, here we go. I think I'm gonna be sick. Brian? I'm gonna cut my ear off to prevent World War II. Ah! Ah! Oh God! Oh God! All right, just stay calm, Brian. You'll get through this. I mean, you got through seeing Lady Gaga naked. Okay, five minutes, Miss Gagina Big, and I will be right back with your Evian. Don't worry, Brian. I'm gonna stay by your side all night, all right? Shh, shh. Shh, there, there, there. Everything's gonna be fine. You're all right. I think I'm, I think I'm dying. Jane Fonda. Is that, is that, is that, is that, is that right? Yeah, that's right, buddy. Totally Jane Fonda. Brian! Hi! The wheel got the bunch. Wanna have sex? I think you gave me words, Brian. <laughs> God, your lip looks really weird. Can we fix that? Can, can, uh, uh, get that out of there. Ew. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Let's get you downstairs so you can drink some water. All right, let's go, buddy. Let's get you some water. Oh. Oh. Oh, God, that feels so much better. You know, Brian, you may be a dog, but you're a pretty cool cat. Stewie just said that. Take it home with you. I'm bored. Yeah, this sucks. What are we supposed to do all day? Well, how about we play charades? Oh, yeah, okay, okay, me first, me first. What do you want to do now? I got an idea. How about you all sit there quietly while I make dad noises? Ah. I don't really have to go to the john. So what do you guys want to do now? Oh, hey, I know. Let's play finger bang. Bang, bang. I'm going to finger bang you, Chris. <laughs> Not if I finger bang you first, Dad. Bang, bang. I'm going to finger bang the two of you at the same time. Bang, bang. Hey, me too. Bang. Oh, no one wants to get finger banged by you, man. <sighs> oh, hey, I got an idea. Let's have a sing-along. Okay, I'm gonna sing the opening chase music from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Feel free to join in. Damn it, Meg, will you stop that? That is so annoying. Oh, that was annoying? What about your stupid, obnoxious humming? Look, Meg, I don't know what your problem is. I thought Dad's humming was pretty entertaining. You know what? This is what I'm talking about. This is a perfect example. You're my brother. You're supposed to be on my side, and you're such a bastard to me. How am I a bastard? Oh, you want the full story? Meg, please. Not now, Mom. Maybe show me some kind of kindness by not jumping on the Let's Get Meg family bandwagon. Ah. 
All right, Meg, that's enough. You've had your little dramatic outburst. <laughs> hey, I got an idea, Mom. How about we talk about Chris's mother, huh? Meg seems to think she's taking some kind of stand here that's gonna make us all feel like we're inadequate. My God, you're condescending! Jeez, look at those two. They're going at each other like an Italian guy and a black woman. Hey, you can't park here! Excuse me? Look, the bottom line here, Meg, is that you're just taking your own problems out on everyone else. Oh, my problems? Oh, I see. Is this coming from my role model mother? The shoplifter, the drug addict, the porn star, the whore who let Gene Simmons and Bill Clinton go to town on her? Oh, so what? Who is? Oh, not only are you not the perfect mother, you're the furthest thing from. From the moment you gave birth to me, I had to trust you. I had no choice. I needed you to protect me from the world, to, to be my guide, to help me navigate the difficult... <laughs> oh, wow, everybody's already tweeting Stewie just said that. Uh, you're right. You're right, I'm a terrible mother. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry, Meg. Can you ever forgive me? Oh, God, I have no excuse. I just have this horrible, overwhelming desire to point out faults in you. I don't know where it comes from. It may be it's because I'm self-conscious about being a bad parent. I'm just, I'm so disgusted with my behavior, and, and I'm so sorry, Meg. Yeah, you're a bitch. Oh, God, is she gonna do me next? You are completely selfish and totally irresponsible as a father. All right, I see what's going on here. You're in love with your old man. You have no education, you have no interest, you just do whatever reckless thing you want to do, whenever you want to do it, without regard for anyone else. You're a fat, lazy, abusive, blue-collar Irish Catholic dad who drinks way too much and barely makes enough money to support his family. You've lived half your life and you have nothing to show for it. Your only arguable accomplishments are your kids. And look at us. We're a disaster. Hey, watch it. Have either of you guys been listening to me? Do you both just have your heads up your asses? Dad did. Look, he's got crap on his ears. That's unrelated. Chris, I don't like that language. Well, I don't like your cooking. Well, I don't like having to literally empty the farts out of your pockets whenever I do your laundry. You eat all my Dan and yogurts. I don't see your name on them. You don't even like them, but you know I do, and you don't want me to have them. You know, I've never confronted you on it, but I've often thought the same thing, Peter. Yeah, that's exactly what he does, because he's a selfish, fat idiot. You shut up, all of you. Pretty cool, the way you finally stood up to everybody. I don't know, Brian. I, I mean, I, I meant every word of it, but you saw what happened. What do you mean? They all turned on each other like a pack of wolves. Well, so what? That's not your problem. Do you think it's possible that you mean that, Brian? Absolutely. Mom? Dad? <laughs> Dad? Go away! Dad, come out of there. No! I don't deserve no better than living with the shoes! You don't deserve it. None of you have done anything wrong. I took all my problems out on you guys, and that wasn't fair. Oh, so this was all about you. It wasn't about us. Yeah. All right, that makes sense. You see, I thought it was weird that I was a bad dad. Meg, how could you put us all through that? <laughs> oh, God, buddy, I'm sorry. You okay? Now I've seen Woodrow Wilson naked. <laughs>